When we are having a bad day, memes are always there to make us laugh. We have to admit that we all love to make fun of these pictures, even if we relate to them a little too much. But not everyone likes these memes as much as we do. Some of the people we see in these pictures don't enjoy being an internet sensation. Fortunately, one of them got over it and decided to make the best out of this bad situation. If you want to see what bad luck Brian is doing now, make sure to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Sit back as we share 10 people who hate their celebrity meme status. Scumbag Steve You have probably seen this meme before. A kid with a sideways fitted cap and a fur coat was standing in a hallway. His attitude inspired many jokes involving high school douchebag stereotypes. Some of the jokes included, hey, can I borrow everything? And grandpa gets surgery, steals pain meds. But do you know who this guy really is? His name is Blake Boston, and he wanted to be a rapper, as you can see in this picture. He even admitted that he was a douchebag in high school, but not a thief or a person with poor judgment like Scumbag Steve. At the time, he didn't even know what a meme was until his friend showed him the picture. But Blake didn't like the fame. People couldn't separate the meme from the real guy in the picture. They knew his name, his Facebook profile, file and his phone number. They started calling him and his family at all hours of the night. These strangers insulted him as if he was really like scumbag Steve and even threatened him and his family. It seemed like a simple joke turned into something no one should be laughing at. But no matter what, Blake Boston still dreams of becoming a rapper. He believed that artists should keep doing what they love whether they suck or not. Really high guy. If we ever become famous, we would like to be known as a great actor, a talented singer, or an activist who wants to change the world. The last thing we want is for everyone to see what we looked like the night we made one big mistake. This is what happened to the really high guy, also known as Stoner Stanley, the night he smoked illicit substances. Since 2011, he has been seen with his red face and strange gesture accompanied by the text, being in 10 is not always pretty. He became part of many jokes including movie night, two hours spent watching DVD menu. And guys, I just realized the kitchen is a place. And we have to admit, we all laughed when we saw one of these memes. Stoner Stanley was later identified as a British guy named Connor Sinclair. And that's all we know about him. He currently leads a normal life and will always be known as the meme of a guy under the influence. We hope that his future boss hasn't seen this meme if he one day has an interview for a new job. This is one mistake that he's going to regret forever. Friend Zone Johnny. When the internet saw this picture, they all thought that the poor Johnny was being friend zoned. He came to this girl's house at midnight with flowers and a box of chocolate to wish her happy birthday. The girl named Liz took a picture and posted it on Facebook, saying that she was blessed to have such a great friend. One of the jokes on the meme was, planned for weeks, humiliated for a lifetime. And that is exactly what happened to Johnny Solace. His life hasn't been the same since he became an internet sensation. When he was walking in the hallway, people were were screaming his name. Some of them even wanted to take a picture with the famous friend zone Johnny. And the humiliation didn't even stop when he came back home. His parents knew about it and constantly laughed at him. They even told him to make t-shirts. Solace later surprised people by changing his Facebook status to show that he was married to Liz. He later admitted that this joke was her idea, but it was still a good way to make fun of those who were laughing at him. After so many years, he finally accepted what was happening to him. He had to admit that internet users were really creative and had the best insults. Suburban Mom We all know about the suburban mom stereotype, and this woman was unlucky enough to become their mascot. Many people related to jokes like, says video games will rot your brain, plays Farmville for six hours. As we would have thought, the suburban mom didn't appreciate the memes. The real name of this woman is Carly Phillips, and she is a romance novelist. There was a lot of drama in her life too, because she didn't give the permission to any kid to make this kind of joke about her. When she found out about the meme, she was horrified furious and hurt. She told her fans that she didn't want anyone to think that she is like the woman in the picture. After all, she let her kids watch R-rated movies even though other parents would be frustrated with her for that. Internet users took the time to explain the joke and tell her that it wasn't really at her expense. Carly said that she learned a lot in the process. She wrote that she believes she is rational and reasonable, but she just wanted to mentally and psychologically let it go. The writer still had to admit to her new fans that she was infamous because of a meme, but it is what it is. It didn't represent her or her views. 
Hipster Barista We all met a hipster barista at a cafe, so we know what this meme is about. Some of the funniest jokes include a $120,000 art degree, draws face in latte foam, and puts coffee deal on Groupon, rolls eyes when you actually use it. However, one person is not laughing right now, Dustin Matson, who works at Octane Coffee. When the barista found out about this meme, he sarcastically tweeted that it was representative of what he does to feed his family. He later said that it was discouraging and disappointing that we gave so much exposure to this kind of meme. Dustin explained that people love farm-to-table food and craft beer, but have no respect for the specialty coffee world. But no matter what, he won't let this meme stop him. He said that it made him want to work harder at his job and bring more exposure to the barista profession. He wished people could know more about his work in the cafe so they'll realize that it doesn't match up with most of the jokes made against the infamous hipster barista. After all, this meme had positive consequences. Now that's a great reason to buy a copy. Irma Gerd. If you've never seen the Irma Gerd meme, you have probably been living under a rock. Some of the jokes include, I got 99 problems and a book ain't one, and I like your status on Facebook. But what is so funny about this is the way these jokes are pronounced. Maggie Goldenberger was really surprised when she realized that a picture of her at 11 years old went viral. She was certainly not ready to become a celebrity. Maggie thought it was weird to see all these pictures of her online. But what annoyed her the most was that her friends never got over it. They loved revealing her online identity every time they met a stranger. They just looked at all the versions of this meme for 30 minutes. During this time, Goldenberger just had to fake laugh as if she never saw those pictures before. She couldn't believe it was her 15 minutes of fame. The young woman just hoped it would have come in another form. But she was not the only one who didn't think this was funny. R.L. Stein, the writer of the books, was asked many times for his thoughts on Irma Gerd. He was worried that the meme was mocking his readers. And we understand how these two people felt. No one would like more than 5 million people to see an ugly picture of them posted online. College Freshman If you ever went to college, you know the college freshman. This young student was known for jokes like got drunk at a party, talks about it for a week, and buys all recommended textbooks. This whole story just started when Griffin Caristi had a phone interview. He thought it was the end of the story until he was asked to pose for a few snapshots. This freshman student didn't like that he had to be a part of this photo shoot while everyone was outside and looking at him. It wasn't a good way not to be noticed during his first semester. Griffin certainly wasn't ready for what was coming next, becoming an internet sensation. He said that at first it wasn't a big deal until people started coming up to him. It was really awkward. The freshman also said that 90% of these memes didn't apply to him. But even though he clearly didn't enjoy being famous, he had one bad idea. He posed for another photograph years later and became a double meme star. He is now both the college freshman and the successful college senior. At least we are happy to see that he was doing well in college. Meme makers just made fun of him with this joke, goes to college, doesn't move for three years. Stop, girl. We all know this kind of feeling when we don't want to be filmed but don't want to look rude either. The stop girl's emotion was so specific but also so universal. And we have to admit that she looked so cute doing it. But some people wanted to make it funnier and erased her teeth from the gif. Anyway, this young woman was mouthing stop and this is still what she wanted when she saw the meme online. She just wished everyone would stop talking about her. Sarah was attending the University of Dakota at the time. She went to a game but she never thought she would leave as a meme. She looked at the GIF online every once in a while and couldn't believe that it was so popular. She had been seen more than a million times. Everyone wondered who she was, some fell in love with her and watched the GIF for two hours straight, and a few people even said they wanted to marry her. If this wasn't enough, her friend also asked her to meet his son and have dinner because he thought she's so cool. Even though that kind of attention was positive, that was not what Sarah wanted. Couldn't they just stop? Attractive convict. If we ever end up behind bars, we wish no one would ever know about that. Unfortunately, this convict was so beautiful that she became a meme and everyone knew about her. We all laughed when she saw jokes like, can I have her cell number, and steals your heart and your wallet. However, Megan Simmons only saw this as a humiliating experience. The whole world knew that she was arrested for reckless driving and slapped with a year of probation. But the popularity of her mugshot was what inspired her to be extra careful, especially when her children were concerned. They didn't know 
about it and she wanted to make sure no one would recognize her. Megan didn't like the attention she got. People stalked her, messaged her, and said crazy things. Some people wanted to visit her, pay her bills, and even marry her. That's certainly not what she was looking for when she got arrested. But what surprised us was when she talked about what she really thought of this picture. She didn't think the photo did her justice. There are other ones she would prefer. It is crazy to hear that when we know that so many people fell in love with this picture. Bad Luck Brian One of our favorite memes is Bad Luck Brian, the awkward teenager. We can't help but laugh when we see jokes like parents get divorced, nobody wants custody, and dating a blind girl says she wants to start seeing other people. But even though this student was not named Brian, he was really unlucky to become a meme. No one knew how to react when their picture was mocked by millions of strangers. At his real job, Kyle Craven didn't want to be Bad Luck Brian. He worked hard to be known as Kyle and not as an awkward high school student known no one likes. But whenever he went on Reddit, he came across the other version of himself. His parents wanted to take it down, but Kyle had to explain that the internet didn't work like that. So he decided that he was going to make the best out of this situation instead. Craven appeared in conferences, sold t-shirts, and took pictures with thousands of fans. He was even asked to let people use his pictures for advertisements all around the world. Kyle estimated that he made between 15,000 and 20,000 off of Bad Luck Brian in three years. Now that we know about that, we we just wish we would become a famous meme too. And that's it for 10 people who hate their celebrity meme status. If one of your pictures was used as a meme, what do you think it would say? Don't forget to tell us in the comment section down below. We love to hear from you. Make sure you like this video if one of these pictures made you smile. And if you want to learn more about memes, just watch the real story behind 10 popular internet memes. Thanks for watching and see you next time.